clean jerks. I used to cringe when my coach would say that we had clean jerks for the day. Now notice I kept out the and. I didn't mind doing clean and jerks. The problem would arise when my coach would say we had clean jerks for the day. It wasn't until after my career that I realized how important this exercise was for helping some really common faults that I had and struggled with. Two of the most common faults that athletes will have on a jerk is they will dip and they will drive the weight forward into the reception, leaving the weight out front and hard to maneuver to, to get to a secure position overhead. The other common fault is an athlete will dip on a jerk, they will not reach extension and punch themselves underneath the bar before reaching extension on the jerk. An exercise we used to use to help combat this was called clean jerks. A clean jerk is where the athlete will clean the weight from the floor, receive the weight in the bottom position, then will accelerate as hard and as fast out of the bottom position straight into a jerk. What this does is this allows the athlete to do two things. Number one, it keeps the athlete so much better vertical throughout the course of the front squat because the athlete knows that they're going to have to jerk the weight on the way up. Secondly, it allows the athlete to really drive into the weight as much as possible because the athlete has no other choice because this is their one and only drive coming out of the front squat. We will watch this in regular motion so you can see what it would look like in regular motion. Clean jerks should be used doing triples up to about 80% of your best clean and jerk. This should be done typically instead of clean and jerk for the day and done maybe once every two weeks or so to help teach the body these things and remind the body of the correct positions they should be in throughout the course of the jerk.